Welcome to latest laws. The Supreme Court has affirmed the maintainability of a suit filed for claiming damages for use in occupation of premises by stating that suit for possession and suit for claiming damages for use in occupation of the property are two different causes of action. The court rejected the appellant's argument that relief for damages for use in occupation available but not claimed in the initial suit lawsuit is deemed to be omitted barring the filing of a fresh suit to pursue that particular relief. In another news, the Punjab and Haryana High Court has ruled that mere compromise and settlement between the parties involved does not carry intrinsic binding force upon the state. The ruling is significant as it challenges the commonly held belief that compromises and settlements between the accused and the complainant are binding and automatically accepted. The ruling by Justice Mahavir Singh Sindhu came in a case where petitioners having checkered criminal history were seeking the quashing of NFIR in all consequential proceedings on the strength of a compromise with the complainant. But one of the two petitioners did not appear before the court, concerned for recording his statement. Already declared a proclaimed person, he was successfully evading the first process of law. Justice Sindhu asserted that the petitioners were trying to make a mockery of the judicial system. 